why you need to start using ChatGPT today. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So here we have 10 reasons why you need to use this chat AI. And we all have these busy lives. We all have things where we need help with things we don't understand. I want to show you 10 ways you can use this AI that are absolutely amazing, mind blowing. I'm so in love with this tool. And the cool thing is you can use it for free right now. You can test it. You can give feedback to the developers. Now, of course, the first way to use this is to write prompts for the AI that you want to use for images like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. Now, here you can see some results that I got with Midjourney. They are absolutely amazing. And the good thing about Midjourney is that it understands clear English language and still can create amazing images from that. Now, when you are in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, you can also get amazing results with this. But I would highly suggest to you, if you want to make your work a little bit easier, to use the dreamlike diffusion model that I showed you last time in this video. So now let's have a look at what the interaction with the chatbot actually looks like. So here I ask not for a prompt, I'm asking to describe a short paragraph for the portrait of a fantasy world alchemist. And as you can see here, it writes a short paragraph. The cool thing in here is it describes the scene in a very nice and creative way. So let me read it to you a little bit. The portrait of a fantasy world alchemist depicts a mysterious and powerful figure draped in flowing robes and surrounded by an array of strange and exotic ingredients. That already is pretty amazing and creative. The alchemist's face is etched with ancient wisdom, their eyes pierced and all knowing. These are very nice adjectives and also very creative style of writing. Really appreciate that. Now we describe the scene here. It says they stand for some reason. It says they not he or she stand in front of a large ornate cauldron surrounded by an array of bubbling beakers and test tubes. Again, beautiful details. The portrait is rendered in a fantastical style. Really cool with vibrant colors and swirling magical energies. The overall effect is one of a mysterious and powerful figure capable of creating magical potions and elixirs that can change the world. So there's a lot of information in here about the details, about the character, about the ambitions of that character too. All of that is really cool. And you can see here from the resulting portraits, we are also getting really cool results from that. Now, of course, as always in Stable Diffusion, I'm using some negative prompts just for good measure. Now, of course, this is a very easy example. So what else can we do with this AI? One thing, of course, is searching for knowledge that you don't have. Here I'm asking what is PIP for GitHub or PIP? So this is giving me a nice explanation in very plain English that even a layman can understand. So it says, PIP is a package management system for Python that is used to install and manage software packages written in Python. It allows you to install packages from the Python package index, PYPI, and other repositories and manage the dependencies between them. Now, if you don't know what repositories are or what dependencies are, you can also ask the AI. And the good thing here is that ChatGPT will understand that you are still in the same topic in the same conversation. So it will give you the answer in relation to your last question. Of course, in this case, Python and GitHub. So that is really amazing. And this is so much easier, so much faster than using Google and going through different pages to understand what is going on. Another example for using that AI is to help you write emails because often we don't know how do I phrase the email or how do I actually write a professional email if I have to. So here I asked, write a professional email that makes clear I want to cancel my internet subscription. This result that the AI is giving, it sounds very good. It sounds nice. It sounds friendly. It sounds professional. 
everything is in there. Now, of course, there are some details in here that you might not want in there. For example, it says, I have recently moved to a new location that might not apply to you, but you can simply delete that from the email. It also makes some suggestions in here that you might not have. For example, it says, I understand there may be fees and penalties associated with canceling my subscription. I'm willing to pay such fees. You might not be willing to pay such fees, but you can always ask the AI to write a new version or to give more specific details on how you want to have the details of that email written. But the overall tone is really nice. One thing I also really appreciate about this AI is if you ask for different situations in your life for some life advice. If you don't feel so happy, if you're sad, if you're down, if you don't know how to achieve a certain goal or how to do certain things in your life, you can ask the AI and you get a very nice and comprehensive list of things to do that also give you some additional steps and ideas on how to get started with this. Again, in very nice layman English that is easy to understand. So here I've asked, how can I have a more fulfilled life? And it gives me a list of different points. I will just give you the starter points here. So it says, identify your values and goals, practice gratitude, cultivate positive relationships, engage in activities that bring you joy, take care of your physical and mental health, make time for self care, give back to others. All of these are great points. And as you can see, there's some more information for them on how to get you started with them. And this is really helpful. And it's also very to the point of what you're actually asking. Again, I feel like with asking the chat AI, I'm saving a lot of time because often you have these long, elaborate, complicated blog posts that feel like you're reading a novel while all you want is a simple and quick answer to solve problems in your life. And I feel like this AI is doing that in a very beautiful way. Another thing I really enjoy about this AI is to ask questions about things I don't know. So here I'm asking, what is the difference between Thai Buddhism and Zen Buddhism? And actually, Actually, this gave me a really good answer that includes historical points, philosophical points, life practice points of the Buddhists in these religions. So I get a very nice overview over the differences in these short paragraphs here. Again, I don't need to waste my time looking through long articles on Wikipedia or reading books on that to understand what is going on. I can just ask the specific question I have. And then if you have follow up questions on these texts here, you can talk with the AI to understand it better. So for example, I asked the AI about the concept of avoiding suffering in Buddhism. Why would you avoid suffering? And isn't the avoidance of suffering the wish for that a new source of suffering? And it actually gave me really good answers to understand that what the concept is and how it is practiced and how you find a balance between solving your suffering, but also not being overwhelmed by trying to solve the suffering problems. So that was really, really interesting and very insightful at the same time. Another thing here that is really good is that you can use the AI for your human interactions, especially in social media, especially when you're texting other people. So here, for example, let's say you're angry, you're aggravated, you want to say, ah, I don't like this, but you don't want to be so angry in your text because you know it will just lead to online fights and online discussions. You don't want to have that. So I asked the AI, write this text in a nicer way. I really don't like your attitude too much my work. And that of course is a text that instigates trouble and a fight and it will not lead to a solution. So here is the text that the AI is writing. It says, I understand that we may have different perspectives, but I feel like your attitude towards my work is not very positive. Is there anything I can do to improve the situation or address any concerns you might have? So this 
is a very good example of how to diffuse the situation because you are starting by saying, I understand your feelings. I understand the troubles you have. Can we find a solution together? Please elaborate on why you have problems with what I'm doing. And then we figure out how we can both be happy with that. All of that is in that short text. And this takes out the anger and the heat of the conversation and goes towards understanding and a solution really a very good example of how to diffuse problems and interact with people another thing i ask the ai to do is to translate text into other language of because we don't speak every language out there and here i ask to translate it of course into a language that i speak so translate into german the text I'm looking forward to meet you for a dinner. Can you bring my favorite book that I borrowed you last month? I would like to lend it to another friend. And the translation for that was, Ich freue mich darauf, dich zum Abendessen zu treffen. Könntest du mein Lieblingsbuch mitbringen, das ich dir letzten Monat ausgeliehen habe? Ich möchte es einem anderen Freund leihen. This is actually really nice, very fluent and very human way to speak German. So that is perfect. And this is also different to other translation tools where often the text feels a little bit stuffy. It feels a little bit robotic. Here, the translation as a German speaker, I feel this is very natural and it feels also friendly, has a very nice tone to it. So I'm very happy with that translation. Next, we have another thing that is spell correction. Of course, you can do spell correction with the tools you have in your browser. And there's also other tools like Grammarly for longer text. But this text AI here can do that also for you. And this is one of the big applications where you want to have an AI that can do multiple things for you, give you multiple solutions for your problems in different areas without having to use all of these kind of different tools. So here I ask for the spell correction of the Renaissance was a period of great art and literature. And of course, I wrote a lot of these words wrong. And then it put out a text that actually has all of these words right. And it has them right in a way that also understands the context of my text. So that is pretty amazing. Another thing I also often do online is to look for suggestions. For example, here, what are great books to learn about AI? Now, the biggest problem, I think you know that, is when you search online on Amazon, on Google, you get suggestions that might not be the best books that might be biased because someone wants to make a quick buck, either because it is suggested things on Amazon where people have tricked the search engine, or it is lists on blogs or other pages that just try to promote the best affiliate links, the best deals, so they make money, but you don't get the best product. Now here I have a very nice list of different books. Some some are pretty complicated to read, others are nice for beginners too. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but you probably can also ask for the good beginner books for AI and get a better list for beginners. So that is pretty good. And also I feel like with the AI, the AI doesn't have a reason to select one book over another because this doesn't include any affiliate links. And also I feel like this AI is more unbiased because it is trained on millions of books. So this is just a suggestion out of all of the knowledge of the AI. And of course, you can use this for all kinds of other lists, all kinds of other suggestions. So that is pretty amazing. And last but not least, we have the creative use of the AI to support you in coming up with ideas, coming up with scenes, coming up with stories. So I asked, write a short story about a female hero in a big city. And it does this. It's a short story. It's not the deepest story. It's not the most amazing twist. It's not the most amazing crafted literature work. But what it does is it gives you a nice scene. It gives you a nice simple story that then you can build out. You can make bigger. You can make deeper with your own imagination. And another thing here that is beautiful is you can follow this up with questions about different things in the story and and the AI will elaborate on that and will deepen the story, will deepen the details, give you more insights about the scenes, about the character, stuff like that. So you can get more information
information to help you craft interesting stories, craft interesting scenes or characters or whatever you want to do creatively. Now, one of the downsides of this chat AI that I want to point out here is that this AI doesn't have a character, it doesn't have opinions, and it also doesn't learn from the conversation over time. Now, this is understandable why the developer did it in this way for the test that we have right now. But the problem is if you want to have a conversation with another person, the most interesting, the most important part about the conversation with the other person is to learn new opinions and to see new perspectives on the world. And this is what this AI can't really give you because like I said, it doesn't have a character, it doesn't have opinions, but what it does is a very rich pool of information. So you can still learn a lot of things. You can still be inspired in a lot of ways. Now here is also why I think this kind of AI is the future of our interaction with technology out there. Because right now we have a lot of things already that are automated and that try to be individualized towards us in the sense that the algorithm is learning our tastes. But still all of that that is very stuffy, it is very static, it is not down to my individual need to my individual problems. Now this AI can do that and respond directly to me, directly to what I ask and give me a specifically created answer just for me and that saves a lot of time and it is much much more effective than for example going on different language pages going on wikipedia trying to look up different sites to learn something to get some insights or to get the answers you're looking for now another thing i really appreciate about that is that this ai is giving me a lot of of solutions that usually I would need to pay different services for. And as a creator, this actually can really drag you down because all of these services out there, for example, like Grammarly or like MailChimp or like other services that help you with social media, stuff like that, each of them is between 20 and 50 bucks, sometimes more per month. So if you need 10 of them, you're already down at least $200 per month. That is a lot of money. And often you only need it for simple solutions like spell correcting a text where I feel I don't actually want to pay that much money just to spell correct things. Now, if you have just one service that works really efficiently, has the same interface, is easy to use and is low cost at the same time, that is an absolutely amazing solution to have for any kind of thing you want to do with your life, in your life, and also in your professional capacity. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah, 